and we'll screw it in. Turn the control knob counterclockwise to the pilot position. So if you just try and turn it, it's locked in place. You have to press down and turn it over to the pilot position. Depress to light. If you press it down, it doesn't light. It says to go ahead and hold it down. Hold the button down for approximately 30 seconds. Release it and then depress again. Repeat until the pilot lights. Okay, I see now a small blue flame under there, so. Now that it is on, I'm gonna uh, again, depress slightly and turn it counterclockwise again. I'm gonna put it on the low position. Hello everyone. Today we picked up a Mr. Heater indoor portable radiant heater here. Uh, propane powered. This is actually a super popular one, but for those of you who are still looking and uh, just happen to come across this video, here you go. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself today on DIY with Chris. So we got this to uh, warm our shop right here. The one that I'm in, this one is less than 200 square feet uh, aside from the actual attic space that's up here. So it's a 12 by 16, so it was just under. Um, did that so I wouldn't have to get a permit for it. But I have lighting and everything in here by the generator, which you might hear going in the background, but I still need heat because it's uh, January right now and pretty cold outside. So I wanna make sure that I can still work in here comfortably all year long. So we'll go ahead and get to unboxing this. We picked this up from Walmart. It was on sale. Online, it's generally around $90. I'll give you the exacts here in a minute. But we picked this up in Walmart for about 80. All right, so we just have the box here, have the instruction manual, packaging stuff, packaging very popular brand and boasts its ability to be used indoors regardless of the fact that it is propane. As a safety tip uh, or a, a safety feature, in case it tips over it will shut off. It has two settings, it has a high and a low. This one is supposed to heat up to 225 square feet. So I'll read out some of this stuff for you. It is supposed to be good for ice fishing, hunting, construction, workshops like we're in, garages, indoors, like it has a house there, camping. I have seen some people on the Amazon reviews actually put this in a tent. They just had a carbon monoxide detector they put up in the top and they had some of the windows at least partially down. So that has been used for that before and outdoor sports. It's supposed to come with easy grip handle right here, which is actually fairly nice. It's pretty light overall. 9.75 pounds is the weight on this. Easy grip handle, low and high heat settings. A lot of the people that I was reading used it on the low heat setting and it still did uh, just fine. So some of the people who've talked about it have been in campers, um, have used it in campers. There was a few shops and then a tent. And again, the low setting is generally the one that I heard I'm using it on. Heavy duty wire guard right here, which is a nice feature to keep you plenty far away from it. Heavy duty design runs on one pound propane cylinder. So we picked up a few of these. Uh, fortunately, they're pretty cheap over at Walmart. This pack was only uh, six bucks. It has its own ignition, but you can uh, manually light it with a lighter is what I was told on some of those reviews. Heats up to 225 square feet. Safety features is that it is indoor safe, low oxygen safety shutoff, tip over safety shutoff, and it does have a one year warranty. A lot of people up in Alaska was using this when I was up there for their ice fishing huts and whatnot. We just never got one. It has a few steps right here. So there's an off switch, there's a pilot, a low, and then a high. Amazon and Walmart both sell adapter hoses to go from this hookup right here to a propane tank, a larger propane tank that you'd use for a grill or whatnot. 
Walmart did not have it in store when we were there, but they do have it online for about $15. That's what I'm looking at doing in the future so that I can just run off of a tank. Somebody was saying that they heated their camper with a five pound one for about a month at a time on the low setting. So it'll last a pretty long time depending on how much you're actually using it. I do see the ability to mount here. So I might be doing that in my shop depending if I can find somewhere to do it. Um, so possibility to mount, good handle to carry. See if there's anything on the bottom. No, it's just open like that. So not many controls or switches to use. We'll go over some of the pricing and things now. So I have it pulled up on Amazon for some of those reviews. And I also have our Walmart receipt here. So it paid $74 for this. It was on sale from about 90. So it was on rollback. We got it for $74 there at Walmart. And then the uh, two cylinders were $6 and 44 cents. And then on uh, Amazon, I'm seeing it for $68.92 with uh, Prime Delivery. It has 3,369 reviews and it is, looks like four and a half star. Uh, so this one's actually been around for a long time. And again, uh, I had a lot of people up in Alaska that used this and it has a very wide array of uh, uses. And the fact that they make it indoor safe, you just need to make sure there's circulation, is also a huge plus for being able to use it in um, in closed spaces like those fishing huts is, is uh, the main thing that I saw them using it for up there. So we do have it turned on right now. We'll see, uh, I have to do a few other uh, videos and reviews here. So I'll keep it going and see how much it heats up the shop. It's 51 degrees outside, so it's not freezing or anything, but we do we would like it warmer in here to do other projects. So I'll leave it on while I'm doing the other videos and then we'll let you know what we think about it here uh, at the end of the day. And we'll try and do another follow-up video in the future. This heater is safe for indoor use in small recreational enclosures, having means for providing combustion, air, and ventilation, such as enclosed porches, cabins, fishing huts, trailers, tent trailers, tents, truck caps, and vans. Now we do have windows that open in here and we also have vents that are up top in the attic area. So I think we'll be safe uh, if we just let it vent off a little bit. And then I will be installing the carbon monoxide detector in here as well a little bit later. Some uh, signs of carbon monoxide is disorientation and starting to feel sleepy. So if you do um, use this indoors and start feeling any of that, you do need to get out. It says, when operating the heater for the first time, the top area of the reflector may discolor. This is also normal and uh, is no reason for concern. The protective grill on the front of this heater is coated with a special high temperature resistant paint. When the heater is used for the first time, the grill may give off notable, uh, noticeable smoke or fumes. This is normal and will not occur during subsequent uses. The fumes are not harmful. When operating the heater at altitudes over 7,000 feet above sea level, the unit may not burn as bright as in lower altitudes. This is normal. Operating time will vary depending on the heater setting and the supply cylinder size. Up to three to six hours on a one pound cylinder and up to 48 to 110 hours on a 20 pound cylinder based on high and low settings. So the first number, uh, three hours for a one pound and 48 hours for a 20 pound on the high setting and on low setting, six hours for a one pound cylinder and 110 hours on a 20 pound. Due to the properties of the gas, run times can be significantly reduced. When moving the heater, when lit or bumping heater setting is down, the tip over switch may shut off the heater. If this happens, just go ahead and relight it. Due to natural operation of small tanks, condensation may build up on the tank and drip on the surface under the heater. When the heater is colder at room temperature, it will take a few minutes for the burner tile to turn bright orange. This is normal and the heater is working properly. If the burner is visibly flaming, turn the heater off and call a, a qualified service technician. When the unit is lit, there should be about a quarter inch border around the tile that will that will not turn bright orange. This is normal. Always inspect the cylinder to make sure that it's uh, okay. Only use LP gas cylinders marked in accordance with the U.S. Department of Transportation. Only or use only 16.4 ounce one pound, which is again what we have disposable cylinders that 
mate with the number 600 valve connection. Heater and attached cylinder must be in an upright position during operation. Make sure four position control knob is in the off position. Swivel regulator outward. So we're gonna take this regulator and push it out so it does have two positions there. We've been out in the shop now for a few hours uh, just working on some other videos and things and so just following up with this we've turned it from low to high for the first probably hour or so we had it on low heat. Again 51 degrees outside and having on low heat we were comfortable in here. I have one window cracked just about two inches there so it's not going to really have a lot of heat escape. Uh, it might also be a factor that we have a lofted area up top so that you might be going up there but overall on low it was comfortable to work in out here um, we are also wearing sweaters but so if you have any questions comments please uh, let us know and we'll answer them as soon as we can I am quite busy so uh, if it takes me a little bit if somebody else sees those questions and knows the answers uh, please respond to those this is part of the DIY community that's what most of my videos are trying to make it so you don't have to pay a bunch of money for somebody else to do something. And so I appreciate your help if you help answer the questions that are down in the comments. And thank you. You guys have a great day. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. Today on DIY with Chris.